Before I go in, I'd like to take an x-ray. So I know exactly how many puppies. So just make sure that everything is exactly where it should be. This is a lot. <laughs> Jeez, got a lot of babies in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six and a possible seven pup. There might be another one hiding in there. But we'll see when we take them out. We're gonna get this one on the surgery table. <laughs> We're gonna get them out. Typically, French Bulldogs have two to four puppies. But when I look on this x-ray and see six with the possible seven, this is definitely a rare occurrence. We've been delivering a lot of Frenchies lately. Like Critter deliverers. That's uh, how we do. Them. With Finley having so many pups, it's definitely an all-hands-on-deck situation because we're going to need people to stimulate and help resuscitate these puppies. How many we got? Six. Oh. A little bit different. We ready over here? Yeah, time to make Fendi a mama. My mama doing, Polly? She is doing good. Where's my initial incision? That is one uterine horn. All right. Whoa, it keep coming and coming and coming. Up the puppies. So we're gonna try to take the first puppy and hand the pup off to Jordan. First baby. Go. Come on, baby. And second pup coming. They have just a bunch of mucus. Mm-hmm. We have to suction out their nose and their mouth and help them breathe on their own. Welcome to the world, puppy. Got anything there? Any breathing? We need to cry. <laughs> one is crying. We just got the second one. Puppy number three, coming your way. You're doing good, buddy. This is puppy number four. As I'm pulling these puppies out, they have quite a bit of fluid draining from their nose. It's fine. The babies haven't used their lungs to breathe before, but now that they're outside, we need to remove this fluid so the lungs can expand so they can start breathing on their own. Last puppy is coming out. So is this six or seven? There's seven total. My possible would have been right. See what's going on out there. Um, we got a few going. A couple of them ain't doing too good right now. I got one struggling here. I'm not getting anything from this one. We need to make sure that each one of these pups make it back to mom alive, which means that we need to get them back breathing and conscious now. A lot of fluid in this one. Come on, buddy. How we doing in that ball? We just trying to survive right now. We ain't doing nothing. Mm -mm. Give me some surprise. Give me an oxygen for that one. When we're trying to get puppies revived, we have to use different methods. Sometimes we have to use medication to try to help the lungs expand, or sometimes we even have to just give them oxygen. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Oh. You're making noise now. You coming around? All right. Keep it going. I heard you. There we go. We trying. We got a little noise here. Come on. You can pull on through, bud. All right. So, yeah, I think we got something. Right. You know they've been in there? One more, two. All right. All right. What we got? Gasping, but not really getting much. Mm -hmm. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. All right. Trying here. There we go. That's a good breath. There right. we go. Get mad with me, because I'm messing with you, huh? Good job. Yeah. Uh -huh. Getting somewhere. Yeah. Singing soprano. Hey, how's it going out there, y'all? Finally got the last one going. Don't laugh too it rough. But they talking right now, so I know. <sighs> y'all trying to stress me out this morning. Getting seven puppies out is an adventure within itself. Even when those puppies come out and you got a couple of them that are not doing well, man, it's like the world stops and you're trying to do all you can. And But once you hear that little noise and it starts crying some, there's a big sigh of relief because you know the baby's doing good. Makes it all worth it.